Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to pair, set up, and map a Bluetooth gamepad controller with Botticera. So before we get started with this step-by-step -step process, I do want to mention that if you're using an 8-bit dough Bluetooth gamepad controller, you want to make sure that you first update your firmware on the controller itself because if you're buying this new, you're not sure how long it sat on the shelf prior to you purchasing it. So if you're buying on Amazon, for example, you're not really sure if the inventory sat on their shelves or in their warehouses for a year or two. That's perfectly possible that it, that could have happened. If that's the case, you're not going to have the latest firmware available on your particular controller. So you just wanna go through the updating process. It's really a quick process. And I actually have a tutorial that shows you exactly what you need to do. So jump down to the description of this video and I'll put a direct link in there for you guys if you are in fact using an 8 bit gamepad controller. So we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to get your Bluetooth gamepad controller paired, set up, and mapped on Botticera. Let's get started. All right, so in order to set up a Bluetooth gamepad controller with Botticera, we first need to have a regular gamepad controller or a keyboard set up on Botticera, just in order to navigate to where we need to go on here to get this set up. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit our start button on our regular gamepad controller that's already been set up, or if we're using the keyboard, you're gonna hit your space bar. That's going to pull up your main menu like this. And then we're gonna go down to the third option down, which says controllers settings. So we're gonna select that. And now we're gonna go down to the second option down, which says para Bluetooth controller. So we'll select that. And now it's gonna say in the corner there in the top right, scanning for Bluetooth controller. So we need to power on our Bluetooth gamepad controller here, and we need to go into pairing mode. So you can go into pairing mode up here at the top if you have um, you know, an 8-bit dough controller like this one here. And that's going to actually scan right here. And that just means that you're looking for a Bluetooth signal in order to pair your gamepad controller with your system. So you can see in the top right corner there, it's now saying pairing. And in this case, it said pairing failed. So we're just gonna do this process once again, once these lights over here uh, time out. And we'll go back onto our regular gamepad controller again. Oh, there it goes. So you notice that it did say failed there one time, but it just vibrated in my hands here. And now it says up there that it is actually paired and confirmed. And now if I just scroll up and down here, you can see that now I'm able to actually navigate through these different options here. So next thing we're going to do is we are going to back out. And I do recommend doing this with your uh, first gamepad controller or your keyboard, just because we haven't yet mapped the controls on the Bluetooth gamepad controller that we just paired. We've only paired it at this point. It is working for navigation purposes here, but we don't want to have to um, go through here and start trying to actually use the buttons because they aren't yet mapped. So we're just going to back out of this page with our regular controller. And then we're going to go right back into configure settings once again, and we're going to hit configure a controller. So we'll select that. And we're going to get this little prompt right here. You can just go ahead and select OK. So now it says two gamepads detected. That's because I have the Bluetooth gamepad controller here detected, as well as the one that is directly plugged in that I was using to go through the pairing and setup process. So we're gonna hold down any button on here. I recommend just holding down your A button. And again, if you're using a different gamepad controller than this, then just hit pretty much any button for the most part will work. So here is our configuring page. This is where we're gonna actually map the controls on our Bluetooth gamepad controller with Botticera. So we're just gonna follow the on-screen prompts. So I wanna just mention that if you're used to setting things up on RetroPie and this is your first time with Botticera, don't get ahead of yourself here because it's gonna look exactly the same, but it's gonna take a little turn here with some of these uh, functions that we need to map. So just make sure that you're paying close attention because the order is very different than that of some of the other emulation platforms out there. So for up, we're going to use our D-pad and we're gonna go up. For down, we're gonna do the same thing, but down. For left, we're gonna go left. And for right, we're gonna go right. For start, we're gonna hit our start button. For select, we're gonna hit our select button. And now for A, B, X, and Y, they're labeled on here the same way in this case for this controller. So we're gonna do A is A, B is B, X is X, and Y is Y. Now with some of those, it's going to look a little bit differently. So let's say you're doing like a PlayStation style controller where you would have um, circle here, X here, triangle here, and square over here, then you could do that pretty much however you want. But what I would do is I would just kind of follow those little diagrams there, which you could see um, next to the A, B, X, and Y. 
So moving on, we're going to do our left analog up. So that is down here. We have our dual analog sticks. So we're just going to go up and then it says left analog left. So we're going to go left. Now on some of the other emulation platforms out there, you go up, down, left, and right. This case, you only go up and left on both of these. So now we're onto the right analog. We're going to go up and then we're going to go left. So now for L1, we're going to do our left shoulder button. For R1, right shoulder button. For L2, we're going to do our left trigger. For R2, right trigger. And then for L3, we're going to push in our left analog. And for R3, we're going to push in our right analog. And then for our hotkey, usually in most cases, you're going to utilize the select button. And that just means that the select along with the start, if you were to push both of these together, that's going to actually activate your hotkey. So if you're in a game, you would hit both of these together. That's going to take you back out. With this particular controller today, I actually have some extra buttons here, which I'm going to utilize. So I'm going to assign it as this button over here. So this way, if I'm trying to exit a game with this particular controller, I would hit start and then this button over here, which is dedicated only to the hotkey function. I'm not using this button for anything else on here. So that's been saved. So now all we need to do is hit the OK button. So we can go down here and I'm just going to hit my B button. That's going to advance us. And now we're just going to check this out. We can see that we're able to scroll up and down, but let's back out of here and let's go through our different collections. You can see we're navigating just fine here, but let me actually jump into a game and we're just going to test this out real quick just to make sure that um, everything is fully work. All right, so we're going to jump into Cruising World here just to test out the controls. I just want to make sure that they're actually working in games and not just working only in the different menu and collection screens. So we're able to steer and everything, accelerate, all is well. All right, so as you can see from this tutorial video today, it's a pretty straightforward process here to get your Bluetooth gamepad controller up and running on Botticera, but it does differ ever so slightly from the process on some of the other emulation platforms. So definitely take your time, read carefully, and make sure that you're not blowing through all those mapping processes the uh, same way that you would on another emulation platform because it is laid out quite differently than some of the others out there. That was the first mistake that I made when I went in here and set up my first Bluetooth gamepad controller on Botticera. So um, that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, be sure to smash the like button on the video itself. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel here because we do a ton of different videos based around retro gaming. We do product reviews, uh, gameplay demos, we do tutorials just like this one here. And then of course, we've got the Forgotten Favorites YouTube series that comes out every single Monday and Thursday night as well. So lots of great stuff on here. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And then of course, you can check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching today.